that again. What about how do how does each state determine electoral recalling? It's based on its own number of congressmen. Okay. But how do we get to that number? Back in 1996, when I was a senior here in high school, Ohio had 22 electoral votes. Now, how many does Ohio have? 18. Huh? 18. Okay. Isn't that based on the like, population? Exactly. And how do they get the population? Yeah. See, what? I, to be honest, I didn't really care about the census. I really, when I was younger, I never filled that thing out. But now, I see how important that thing is. Ohio lost 22 to 18. How many votes is that? Four? They lost four electoral colleagues. Because they probably still have it if people filled out the census. People like me that never filled it out for 10 years, that probably had an impact on it. So it's important to have the census done. Each, that's why they send it out every, every year to see the population increase, decrease. All right, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. What's our two elections? It's right in there, Mr. Petty. What's our two Primary elections? Primary and general. <laughs> okay. Now, who are we voting for in the primary? Or what's the other other word for? Starts with it. Starts with a D. Actually, West Virginia uses. They still call their members this. Delegates. Bingo. Got it. So we got our delegates. Now we move down to the general. Who are we electing here? First of all, are we electing the president in November? Are we doing it? No. Who are we, who are we electing to do it? The representatives. The representatives cast a vote. So something like that. Who are we doing to have them do this? Huh? The electors. Exactly. So there's one part, we know who the who is, okay? Now we move to the what. I wish 20 some years ago that this was up when Mr. Johnson taught me because it makes it so much easier to understand this electoral call. Like I didn't understand this thing for 20 some years until like two weeks ago, honestly. This thing is great. All right, now we move to the what. what? Are we voting for in the primary? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? In the primary, what's in the primary? Senators and representatives. Okay. But what are we what are we trying to narrow it down to? Starts with an N. Nominees. Nominees. So we got that part. Nominees. Now, who or what is happening in the general? The electors are selecting the program. Exactly. How do you draw them? Yeah, yeah, but he's off track. Yeah. He's off track. Don't let him fool you. Okay. <laughs> now we're moving to the win. When are we voting in the primary? When are the primaries? Anybody guess? Like a specific date? No, it don't have to be. It could, no, it don't have to be a date. Just... Fall, winter. The fall. No. <laughs> you picked up the two options. Oh, the <laughs> when we play baseball. 
Huh? The spring. So we do our, but it doesn't have to, it could be from April to June or July. I would does their different. I would totally does their different. Okay, so we got their spring. Now, here's a tricky one. When do we vote in the general? November. We vote in November. Okay, but there's specific words in that in the Constitution. When do we vote in the general election? There's got to be a first. There's a hint. It's a day. Comes after Monday. First Tuesday of November. Okay, after after what? First Tuesday after what? The first, what's before word Tuesday? Monday. Okay. So what we got? What we got? First Tuesday after the first Monday. Why is that so important? Why is it so important that we vote on the first Tuesday after the first Monday? October 31st, if it falls on a Monday, and the first Tuesday is November 1st. Are you going to remember after Halloween to go to vote the next day? No. Huh? No. Exactly. So this is why they set it up the first Tuesday after the first Monday. The second through the eighth. Okay? Lords, remember that. The second through the eighth. It never be on the first day of November. It's gonna be the first Tuesday of November after the first Monday. Okay. So if November first was on a Monday, can we vote on November second on Tuesday? Yes. Why? Because it's after the first Monday. Of November. There you go. Now we move to the where. Where? Is the delegates and nominees, where are they vote, where are they going to vote at? Where are they going to pick their candidates at? They have two of them. What are the conventions? What convention? The Republican and Democratic National Conventions. Exactly. The National Convention. Okay. Now, if we knew this is a national convention, we move the general. What's happening here? If we're taking the delegates, okay, we're nominating national convention. Now we're moving down to the electors. What's happening here? Can't you just go to like voting stations, or is that just only for popular vote though? Not yet. So this is going to be our electoral, what? Our electoral colleagues. Electoral colleagues. Our electorals. These are the people we're going to nominate to go make our vote. Oh, okay. Remember, we're not voting for the president. Our electoral colleagues are doing that for us, right? So if we got. When we have these two, these are narrowed down. We have our Democrat, we have our Republican. Okay? So this will be the same here. We got a Democrat, we got a Republican. They're going to set the base. Now, when we get to the why, why? How many do we need on the ticket? Two. Huh? Two. Two. Because we're at what? National conventions. And what's the two biggest national conventions? The Democrat and Republican. Okay. And then 
These are voting for what? What number? One How many? One person. One person of what? Which equals what? One president. Exactly. One. So now we've got our who, what, when, where, and why. That's how the electoral college flows. Now, get to that. How many total electoral college votes are there? 538. Okay. Now, how do we get to that? How do we get 538, Miss Patty? The 435 uh, in the House and the 100 in the Senate, and then three votes from the District of Columbia. Right on the money. Right on the money. How many does this have to be for somebody to win the presidency? Why 270? Over half. Huh? Isn't it over half? Yes. It says it's over half. Okay? Here's a fastball for you. What if there's three people running? Why can't there be two Republicans and one Democrat or four Republicans and three Democrats? Because they won't necessarily reach the 270. They'll be really place. under that. Exactly. That's why we have it up here a two. Because if we make it more than two, there ain't no, I don't think there's going to be nobody reached reach 270. It's just going to be too many. Okay? Now, what I say this is important. Because the time you guys vote in the next general election, this could be totally different. You know why? If you watch the news or read something this weekend, I can tell you why. The Republican Party is not going back to President Trump in the 2024 presidential. If he decides to run, they will not have him run for them. Why is that important? Because the only way that he'd be able to run would be as an independent. Huh? He'd have to run as an independent. Exactly. How many votes did he get this past year? 75 million. Exactly. What's that going to do to this? It's going to make it so that nobody gets to the 270 votes. See where we're going with this? Come 2024, this could be totally... It's going, it's going to mess up. If, if, this, if it's true that they don't back him, He's going to take a lot of votes out of the Republicans' hands. A lot out of the Democrats. Okay? Remember, he got 75 million of the popular vote. You think that's going to have an effect on everybody? Especially if he runs independent or forms a new party and brings some Republicans over? Mr. Proctor, what happens if no one wins the 270? Do we just have no president? No! Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Mr. Petty, since you're on the ball today, what happens if we don't reach 270? Who, who's the go to? Uh, it goes into the chambers of Congress, doesn't it? Isn't it the committee? They put like a committee together to settle that? Somewhat. It goes into the Senate. Okay. Who gets to decide who vote in the Senate? The senators. They get to choose the president, correct? They choose a the president. Okay? That's what's going to happen. And this could foresee in the future, this could happen in 2024. I'm telling you, this could really this could happen in 2024. I'm not guaranteeing it at all. I'm just saying the way the country is going, this could happen. So you guys play a major role in the next general election, okay? You'll be out of high school, what, two years? So, in three years when you run for president, you guys are gonna have a major impact on this, okay? That's why they say your vote, well, what's my vote? Why worry about my vote? Because your vote decides this, who you send enough to, to vote for you, okay? Now there's two states that doesn't give all their electoral colleagues to. You know what the two states 